This just the start of a fabulous day of darts. Paul Nicholson putting out the two-time world champion, Dennis Priestley, 4-2. Up next, surprise package of this tournament, Dennis Smith against world number 12, Mervyn King. We reckon somewhere around about half four, Wayne Mardle, England against Holland, against Co Stompy, the Dutchman. Then the evening, more of the same from 7 o'clock. Andy Hamilton against former Lakeside champion, Yella Klassen. The five-time world champion, Raymond Van Barneveld. Average over 100 in his first couple of matches. He'll have to be at his best against Ronnie Baxter. And rounding off the evening, James Wade against Vincent van der Voort. Another England against Holland matchup. This man is through to the quarterfinals, where he will play either Wade or Vincent van der Voort. Paul Nicholson, the Geordie Aussie, showing his respect for Dennis Priestley, who has uh, battles of his own to face in the, uh, the coming months. Congratulations. You're a little bit more subdued now after, the, after your last win against Lewis. What was it like playing someone like Dennis Priestley on this stage? It was a whole different kettle of fish, to be honest with you. Um, Adrian's the kind of player who's you know, bang, 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 you know, very animated. Whereas um, a lot of people said to me last night and this morning, you know, Dennis is a different game. And I'd already prepared myself mentally for that last night. Um, I knew it was going to be a slower game, that there was going to be a bit more hush-hush between each throw. So I knew, I knew that... I might start a little bit differently. I did. I had a shocking first two sets. Um, but when I got used to um, Dennis's pace, I settled myself down and I felt a lot more comfortable. Was it weird playing one of your heroes? You can't really describe what it's like, really. I mean, I mentioned the other day that you know Russell Stewart is one of the players that I really get nervous against because I used to watch him as a child. But it's the same with Dennis. You know, it, it's kind of surreal. You know, someone like me from you know northeast of England who's living all the way across in Australia now to actually get the opportunity to play Dennis Priestley on the biggest stage of them all quite frankly it, it's a privilege just to be there and to beat him I'm I, I can't even describe that <laughs> Do you sometimes need a bit of aggression in your game to get you sparking maybe that's what you were lacking in the, that first couple of sets Yeah definitely um, I could sense that the, the crowd were very much like yesterday they were 100% against me that I've got used to um, but I think I just needed to rail them up that tiny bit more against me to give me that bit of, uh, bit of anger or a bit of aggression. And uh, I did it at the, I think, second break when yeah. I went 2-0 down. And it just spurred me on. Um, You've got James Wade or, or Vincent van der Voort in the quarter-finals of the World Championship. Wow. <laughs> Your thoughts on that? Um, well, everybody who's spoken to me this week said that I've had one goal. That's the semis. I want to make at least the semis. So either James or Vincent, we've got to watch out because I'm going to be more aggressive than ever in that game. Um, I've learnt more in the last three games than I've probably learnt in my entire career. So I'm going to be dangerous and I get to play at night time, which means I can practice even more before my game, which is even better. Um, I mean, a lot of people have made a bit of a joke as well that Wadey and I look alike. Um, <laughs> Separated at birth. Yeah, that's right there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but to be honest, Whoever gets through, gets through. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just looking forward to the game. Congratulations. Thanks, well We'll see you in the quarter-final. Appreciate the World it. Championship. Cheers. Uh, up next, Dennis Smith against uh, Mervyn King. Let's hear from them. Dennis Smith says...